Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Let me go off the picture. Congratulations, Matt. A brace in the cup. How did it feel to be back home scoring at Molyneux? Yeah, look, feels pretty good. I've been uh, lacking minutes at the start of the season, so I knew this was an opportunity to to play well and uh, in a new role as well, playing kind of three at the back. And then obviously got moved second half to, to wing back, and yeah, I'm happy to contribute. Well, that was your first goal, adding to your tally of 28 already, but your first here at Molyneux since that iconic 3-2 win against Manchester City on Boxing Day. Was it quite nostalgic to be celebrating with the South Bank again? It felt, honestly, it felt like normal, you know. It felt like I hadn't, hadn't been away. Um, look, I never get, I never celebrate too hard when I score. Um, that's just the type of person I am, but yeah, look, it felt pretty good. Well, you scored two of our five here tonight against Blackpool. Does it feel to be good to be back to winning ways at home? Yeah, look, obviously we won the last game Everton away. Um, we won again today, so look, we want to get on a little roll, try and beat Palace on Sunday before the international break and um, gives everybody a lot of confidence until we come back and, and go again. Well, we're into the third round of the Carabao Cup. Is it too early to say how far can we go? No, it's never. There's not many. I don't know how many rounds you end up before you're in the final, but um, no, look, we want, it's something that we, we want to do. You know, we want to go as far as possible in, in everything, in the league, in all the cup competitions. So um, this is a pretty good start. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Congratulations again. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Nathan, wow, a goal and assist. Debuts don't get much better than that, do they? <laughs> no, um, yeah, it's a surreal feeling, you know, just getting an assist. But for me, I want to score and when, when I just went in it, yeah, happy, yeah. <laughs> you must be on absolute cloud nine right now. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like it's real yet, but once I get home and see my dad and my mum and my girlfriend, I'll, yeah, I'll probably sink in now. Do you have any family here tonight watching? Uh, yeah, I've got my, my mom, my brother, my girlfriend, my girlfriend's mom, and my uh, girlfriend's granddad. So I've got quite a few people. So happy that they got to watch the goal. Did they decide to come along after you found out you were in the squad this week? Uh, yeah. So whenever I um, get a chance to even be on the bench, I always try and invite my family because it's a good opportunity for them to come and watch the game. And um, I know they want to see me, even if I'm warm enough. They're happy enough to see me warm enough in front of the fans. So to come on and score, that's even even better. Well, growing up locally, joining Wolves when you were seven years old, you've been dreaming of this moment for a really long time, haven't you? Yeah, um, obviously for me, I've always wanted to play for Wolves um, and just to get on the pitch first, it feels like, oh my God, like you're on the pitch from the fans and then, and then you get an assist, you think, oh gosh, and then you score <laughs> just even more. So yeah, it's, it's amazing. Well, you're in fantastic form. You caught the eye of some fans in pre-season, getting on the score sheet, and also scored an amazing goal for the under-21s on, uh, on Friday as well. You're in great form. Yeah, I've been scoring. Whenever I, whenever I play, all I want to do is just hopefully score and play well and hopefully win. In the 21s, I've been really winning, but um, um, I've been scoring, so I was happy that it gave me the confidence to come here and believe that I can get a goal. When did you first find out that you were going to be in the squad? What conversations did you have with Gary? Oh, none really. I just like got told by like James. I tried to train with him. I was just like, and everyone was just like, oh, you're on the bench. I was like, all right then. And then you're just travelling. You're like, oh, do you know if you'll get on? And then you come on and then it just goes from there. Was it a surprise to get your call off the bench today? Um, I feel like I felt like I had a feeling that I was going to come on if I was on the bench. I had a feeling that um, Gary, I was hoping that we'll get the score up to more and more to so increase my chance of getting on. But... I had a feeling I was going to come on. I've been saying since I found out to my girlfriend, just oh, if I come on, I'm scoring, <laughs> just to try and boost my confidence. But I'm not sure I really believed it, but I've done it, so it's good. Well, you need to believe it now. You've done it. You've scored here at Molyneux and you signed a contract extension in the summer as well. Do you hope this is the first of many? Uh, yeah, so I uh, signed the contract extension, but for me, I just want to keep playing well. And I know that if I play well, then I have an opportunity to play for Wolves, and that's what I want to do. So. Hopefully I'll be able to stay for longer. <laughs> well, congratulations, Nathan. We're really looking forward to it, but really enjoy the celebrations tonight. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Cheers.